Greetings, I'm Paulo San Pedro, the product manager for the airway management portfolio of Carl Storch Endoscopy Asia Marketing. I'm also a practicing anesthesiologist. My clinical practice focuses on difficult airway. I get referrals to manage failed airways and expected very difficult airways. I'm also the founding president of the Philippine Airway Management Society. Professionally, I have two passions, airway management and teaching. That's why I also founded and run the Airway Academy. We teach airway management using simulations with mannequins and live pigs. A professor of mine in anesthesia once told me, you have to know how your patients feel. How do they feel when you administer certain medications? How do they experience the procedure when you perform it to them? Nothing beats first-hand experience. In accordance to my professor's advice, let's evaluate this product. First of all, the image is great. It has the same image quality as the reusable castors and the scope. I'm using an old monitor and already the image is great. What more if I'm using the new monitor? Second, the control is superb. It is stiff enough for intubation unlike the other flexible scope that are mostly designed for bronchoscopy. Yet, it is not too stiff. To quote the other doctors, Carl Storz got the balance right. The tube holder is color-coded for easy identification of the size. For this one, it is yellow. This indicates that this is a 5.3 millimeter. There are a lot of doctors who are held back in using a single-use flexible scopes. This is mainly because of the inferior quality of the disposable scope. The 5S is the perfect solution for them. It has a quality of a reusable scope in a disposable scope. We have five sizes in the pipeline. The 5S 5.3 is now available. It has a suction channel diameter of 2.2 millimeters and a deflection of 180 degrees both ways. In a few months, the 5S 6.5 and the 5S 3.5 will be available. The tooth lengths of the 5S 3.0 will be arriving in 2023. At the moment, we have the 5S 5.3 millimeters. With a diameter of 5.3, you can answer the major requirement of flexible endoscopy and airway management, which is difficult airway in adults. The 5.3 can also be used for bronchoscopy in adults. The 5S 6.5 could also be used for adult intubation and bronchoscopy. And since it will have a 3 millimeter working channel, it is perfect for bronchial lavage. The 5S 3.5 is ideal for pediatric intubation. It could also be used for lung isolation either by bronchial blocker or double lumen tube. The 5S 3.0 is designed for infant intubation. I remember the time when I still used the fiber optic for intubation. And the image was very poor because of the fiber optics. The size is small, so the fibers are actually very limited. And because of the small lumen of the infants, whiteout is very common. It was very difficult to adjust lighting. Now, with the Castor's video endoscope, you have a superb image. They have autofocus and the light automatically adjusts for optimal visualization. Why choose single use? If you have a new user of a flexible scope, there's actually a higher chance of damaging the scope. For teaching and training, the 5S is actually a great option. The great image and control allow the trainee to actually learn faster and easier. At the same time, 
the cost for damages is actually minimized. There are the low frequency users. For them, there is minimal capital investments, no cost of storage, and no reprocessing expenses. Heavy cost in damage from mishandling and use is minimized. This is especially common due to unfamiliarity in cases of infrequent use. You may have already experienced or heard of a flexible scope being caught on something, like the door or being pinned in its own case. Someone accidentally mending the scope, damaging the scope during the procedure, or the patient biting the scope. All this doesn't matter if you're using a single-use flexible scope. If you are a high-volume user, to accommodate the volume of procedures, your institution will need several flexible scopes. Maintaining several reusable endoscopes is risky and expensive. An efficient approach is to use a hybrid of reusable and single-use. You can use the reusable on the first case and then use the 5S while the reusable is being reprocessed. There are also institutions with no reprocessing capabilities. And I've seen flexible scopes in such hospitals. And I pray that I won't be a recipient of those procedures where those scopes are used. Now, more than ever, infection control is a primary issue. The 5S is the easiest and best solution. The 5S is compatible with the CMOC monitor, the C-Hub, the Telepac, and the Telecom C3. If you already have these monitors, you don't have to make additional investment to use the 5S. However, we also have a new CMOC monitor which is perfect for the 5S. It has a full HD resolution, it has dual processor, it has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio for wider lateral view, giving better visualization of the airway. It has PCAP technology for glove touch screen control. There are several options for video recording. It has an auto recording function once the endoscope is connected. I cannot remember how many times it has happened when I have a great case and I forget to press the record button. Auto recording will solve this problem. Another option is the time machine function, where it recovers 60 seconds of the video even before the record button was pressed. Like its predecessor, it has a dual endoscope connection. Now, it also has a split screen function and a picture and picture function. On top of all those, it also has an audio recording and a timer function. There was a time that when someone says difficult airway, it is equivalent to fiber optic intubation. We have now shifted from fiber optic to flexible video endoscope to single-use flexible scope. The 5S is the future of flexible endoscopy. The only way to prove it is to experience it. So, give it a try!